okay guys now that we've seen how to configure the manual enrollment for both user certificate and computer certificate let's see how we can configure an auto enrollment for user certificate it also works for computer certificate so i will just show you how it happens with the user certificate and then you can replicate that as you wish so currently since we have uh, on the certificate template we have a certificate called um, btb user certificate and then when you go to security you realize that domain and domain users can also enroll this which is mo something you must do then what we'll do is i will create another user now called um sample user basically okay, sample user so let's call this sample user we'll call it sample advincentechblog.com give a password give a password and then uh for practice sake i'm going to close that and then on this sample user i'm going to give him give him or he or she an email okay so this is the email for this user which is perfect so this user now guys we won't this user won't be manually enrolling for a certificate as soon as we log in with the user account we check the certificate store and we would see that the user has gotten a certificate so how do we do that before we log in we need to enable that auto enrollment policy in our domain by going to the group policy interface on your domain controller so we would look for group policy management is right here okay so over here over here we'll go to the domain want to i uh, wanted to affect the entire domain basically yes and then um means now users won't have to you don't have to go and then rule the certificate they will all get it so we'll go for edit here it's a uh, user configuration so we'll go for policies windows settings and then we have security settings and then we have here public key policies on the right hand side here guys on the content pane you see we have certificate services client auto enrollment you double click on that and then you enable it you check on this box which um, renews expired certificate for you of this certificate and then that is perfectly what we want okay so and then we have another checkbox here that says um display user notification for aspiring certificates in user and machine my store that is in the personal store you can also check that for your own benefit and then we'll apply this and then we'll go for okay so guys after doing that you basically enable auto enrollment in your domain all you need to do is update the group policy So I would run GP update. Okay, so this is this is going to update the policies in my domain. All right, so this is done. I can close this. I can close this group policy management editor, and then also I, I can close my group policy. I'm cool with that okay guys so since we have a certificate um we configured earlier we don't have any issue and we've already specified auto enrollment for the domain users all we need to do now is go over to the user's computer and log in with our sample user and check if he has a certificate or not so let's move over to the client pc to check our sample user if he has a certificate or she has a certificate okay guys we are here on the client computer so we'll log in with these details all right we are logging in as a sample user okay we logged in and then uh, 
when we go to the MMC of this user account that is um, of this computer for this user all we need to do is go to file add or remove snapping there's a domain user so basically you can only add the user section of uh, of the certificate snapping all right guys right here you realize that our personal store we have certificates automatically and then we have that sample user has a certificate automatically so when we check that it's easy as you can see guys proves your identity to a remote computer protects email allows data on disk to be encrypted lasts for one year issued by the vtbca perfect guys as you can see perfect so that's exactly how you can configure auto enrollment on your domain so so with this every user account as soon as they log into their computers they all get a certificate you don't have to go one by one to all the user account and that user must be a domain user so that basically is another option if you have huge amount of users on your network i believe that is doing it for you guys that is basically exactly how we can configure manual and um, auto enrollment okay um, of certificates in your domain network and exactly how you can configure adcs in your domain for a very quick usage on your network and then another question is what if this user account gets compromised or what if um this use co uh, 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 computer the user is logged and actually you realize earlier we give a computer certificate what if the computer gets damaged how can we get that certificate we give to this particular computer that is when we talk about key recovery and that is the next thing so guys if you enjoyed watching this video please um subscribe and ask your questions if necessary if you have any questions i'll be glad to help you out